In this study, uh, addition of alternative of transfer and uh, capsaicin have been resolved in a clinical meaningful lower risk of disease progression of death than placebo. How will this data impact clinical practice? So if you are talking about patients without um, specific issues with CNS disease, then I would say that the this triplet combination, trastuzumab, tocatinib, and capsidabine is one of several third-line options. Uh, but if the patient has CNS disease, then this actually is a preferred, uh, it would be a preferred regimen, so in the third-line setting or even in the second-line uh, setting. So the data from her 2 climb tells us that um, the tocatinib is yet the tucatinib combination is yet another option uh, that uh, one of the treatment that can add to the treatment armamentarium for these uh, patients with metastatic disease. So all that is good news for the patients. Okay, when tucatinib combined with the trastuzumab and the capsetapine, why is there a safety concern? Is that different between the HER2 tyrosinase inhibitor or anti-HER2 monoclonal antibodies or the new drug like the HER2 antibody drug conjugate? Yeah, so probably what is what noteworthy about the toxicity profile um, that we see from the tocatinib data is that compared to other HER2, small molecule HER2 TKIs, the safety profile is actually pretty favorable. Um, so we, we do see the usual hand foot syndrome, diarrhea, and, and, and transaminitis, uh, but in particular, the incidence of grade 3-4 diarrhea appears to be lower uh, than what we uh, tend to expect uh, with other similar small molecule TKIs like um, naratinib or lepatinib, probably because it is much more specific. Um, and in terms of toxicity, 